Okay, uh, so tonight what I'm looking to do is connect to the AV AO network. So the AV AO network is a tool that you can use to actually make real life radio calls on your flight simulator. Okay, so base airport. Put CYQM, 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 Mon so it's Moncton. All right. So let's connect here. What I need to do right now is get the hack off the port. I gotta go into the apron. So let's go to apron. So try the call. So put BFR into airline circuits, and I'll put um, videotaping screen casting. Flight or YouTube. Alternate, we don't need any. So put, say, 60 minutes. Destination CYQM. Persons on board, we'll say one. Uh, cruising speed, 120 knots, sure. Okay. So, we send the flight plan in. Here's the window. So what, what I found out is if you want to find out if there is an active controller in the area, you put dot ATC. ATC. Nothing came up. Send flight plan, request ATIS. Cool, it looks like they have TCAS for for the network. Let's see other planes coming in. Okay, let me sh make sure it was dot etc that because nothing came up. So I'm gonna go back. ATC. 
So when connected and ready to start your flight, you have to make sure there is an online ATC station at your airport or area. To do so, type in your AVAP, type in your AVAP.ATC and the list will appear with all active controllers in your area, including their respective frequencies. See the example below. So dot ATC. So let's try try again. Let's see, the thing is, I'm in New Brunswick, Canada, so I don't know. A, wait, dot ATC. See, nothing's nothing's coming up. Dot ATC. So there's the weather. Preferences. So I think I'm gonna have to pick an airport. If I actually wanna do radio calls, I have to pick an airport. Request half. I have to pick an airport where there's actually people around here. Okay. So if you go to webi.ivao.arrow, you actually can see Oh, boom. Okay, okay, okay. We're on some, we're on to something. If you click on ATC, so if you go to that website, you click ATC, you can see the the position, frequency controller, the rating, uh, where they're located. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven air, air uh, so there's seven controllers on right now. I should put this, uh, just a sec. I want, I want you guys to be able to see this. Just a sec, where is that? figured it out. Uh, so we want that screen up.
Image. Game capture, display capture, browse source. Browse source. No. Boom. Okay. So here is the is what I'm looking at. So if you go to if you go to web i dot a v a o dot arrow, it's right here. So if you go there and you click on uh, the ATC, here, I'll go to that so you can see. Okay, so if you go to client ATC, right, you can actually see where they're, all the controllers are located. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven um, airports where there is ATC. And here's the, all the time that it on. So Germany, 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 Denmark, Madagascar, France, and Siren Arabia Republic. So I don't know how busy these airports are, meaning I don't know if like we can actually do circuits. So let's just have a look here. Like these are probably pretty big big airports. Well, what I can do is figure out the call sign and just say request uh, circuits and see if uh, see if we're allowed. Supervisors, observers, ATC, and pilots. Look at all the pilots flying right now. Holy crap. How is, how are, how are all of these guys controlling? Uh, it's, yeah, there's a lot of, there's a lot more pilots than observers, uh, than controllers. What about this place, Tegel Tower? 124.525. So EDD T Tower. EDD T T W R. So that's in Berlin, Berlin Tegel Airport. So there's a controller here. I bet it's a big airport. I bet I, I can always log on. So I'm going to go there, EDDT or EDDT, and see if I can actually do circuits there. If they'll let me EDDT. Okay. So let's let's give that a shot. Let's go quick flight setup. So that's on one seventy two. T in the sunset clear. Fly with all these options.
So the first thing I need to do is when I log in is get off the runway. Holy crap, it's a big airport. Okay. So, local map. Load airport. General aviation, so we'll say general aviation stand 34. Okay, so here we are in stand 34, and I can request circuits from here. I think, uh, you know what, this is not a massive, massive airport, so let me. Let me go ahead and log into the server. It should, er, the server. So if I do EDDT and um, dot ATC, I should be able to get the right frequencies to come up and I'll be able to Okay, I don't know what that was. It got disconnected probably because I have to file a new a new flight plan. Wait, how's the winds? How's the weather here? I'll have to. So let's do a flight plan. Charlie Golf Delta. Why well, should I write down my call sign so I don't? Charlie Golf Quebec Delta Echo. Charlie Golf Quebec Delta Echo. We're gonna do circuits. So it's E D E T. Broadcasting flight for YouTube circuits. We'll connect. So we'll go to dot ATC Okay. EDDT e -D -D -T tower 124.52. Let's go there. So I should be able to hear someone talk if I do that. So 124.52. Error. Error. Let's go to 3D cockpit view. So when I actually move the mouse or go up and down, it's actually me inside the plane and not anything funky. So, 124, 5 Error. Twenty-four, five, two. 
Boom. Boom. Link engaged. So we got a, we, this is a good sign. So Eggle Tower information, Delta, record it. 703 Zulu. Okay. So Windsor, oh crap, where'd it go? 703 Zulu, EDT. So two, Windsor, uh, 250, er, blah, 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 blah. 0650 Zulu, uh, lights, winds are wind, winds and uh, light and variable at two knots, light, rain and drizzle, uh, there's BR, which I believe is, uh, BR, is it broken or missed? I'm not sure. It's got it at 300, uh, it's broken at 400. So we can't really do circuits. We can't really do circuits because we're broken at 400. When past 2000 feet, switch to departure frequency at 122.8. Confirm ATIS info delta on initial contact. Well, the good news is we got this connected. So TeamSpeak 2 automatically connects to, um, so when I, when I minimize this and I go to Team, TeamSpeak 2, uh, let's have a look here. I should, boom. So yeah, there's a there's a tower and then I'm there. Charlie Golf Quebec Delta Echo looking so what I can probably do is do a uh, readability check. So let's get rid of this. So, this is gonna be my first uh, contact with ATC using business. So I'll just, I'm in the apron. So, and I can say I have information Delta, just looking for a uh, readability check um, and see, see what he says. So, We'll do that. So, confirm uh, ATIS info delta on initial contact. So I programmed my mouse that if I click down on the um, this, what is it called? Like where you're you're moving your mouse up and down the wheel. If you click it down, that's when I'm going to be making my radio call. So that's what I set up on TeamSpeak 2, just because it's, I think it'd be a cool way to, for now, for the way I have it set up, I just have a keyboard, mouse. So EDDT is um, Tegel Tower. So Tegel Tower, it is Charlie Golf, Cessna 172, Charlie Golf, Quebec Delta. Go. Tega Tower, it's Cessna 172, Charlie Golf, Quebec Delta Echo. Charlie Golf, Quebec Delta Echo, Tega Tower, good day. Good day. Uh, just looking for a read readability check. Uh, just seeing if you can uh, hear me. So two by three, so I'm gonna read back. Roger, thank you for that. Uh, and I'll just be shutting down now, just getting a uh, check for the microphone. Thank you very much. 
So he said two by three, so that means he can uh, he can. You cannot hear me well. I can hear you uh, five by five, and uh, I hear you loud and clear. Three to two. So, um, sounds good. So three to two. It sounds like he can hear me. Three to two. I'm not sure what he means by that. Three to two. Three to two. Three to two. This would be my first time talking to a controller from Europe. So, I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm not sure what he means by that. Broken at four hundred. Scattered at three hundred. So. Yeah, I can't. Uh, I can't really fly. That's too bad. But at least I got uh, this set up properly. So that's really, really exciting. I got. Um, now I can actually do real radio calls to an actual controller on multiplayer. The main thing I. Okay, so I basically got. Uh, X A V P or er. okay. So on tonight's flight, the exciting thing is, is I got access to. actually talking to someone on uh, IVAP so that's exciting um, the way I did it I basically went to www.webi.ivao.aero So webi.ivao.aero I went to that website and I clicked on clients and then I clicked on ATC and there you can see which towers has a live controller from there, you can decide which airport you want to fly to. So my challenge is I was picking, I was picking my airport before, I was picking the airport I was going to go to before seeing if there was a control, live controller there. So that doesn't work, right? Because there's no control, there's no, there's no tower controllers in Canada right now on the system. Okay, so you got to go to that website. Figure out where the active uh, controllers are for tower. And then when you put the frequency in on your plane, it automatically links TeamSpeak 2. It turns it on, which is... So we're just going to listen to these calls here. So you can hear them talk. Delta Bravo Charlie, Freund Sie zum Hall, Halt der Piste 086, Übersetzer Mike, Romeo Whiskey, Tune H, ist 1019 und Walk 6532. Und das ist bei der Piste 086, Übersetzer Mike, Romeo Whiskey, Tune H 1019 und das Walk 6532, Delta Bravo Charlie. So we're just listening on to the radio calls. That's exciting. Okay, cool. And then, uh, so yeah, do that. And then I just basically did a readability check on the uh, apron. So I didn't actually um, do anything else. So if you wanna do 
if you are looking to use this for the first time, just you can go to the apron or go to an area. This is my first time, uh, so I'm actually doing this for the very first time. And just say, hey, you know, do a do a readability check. I was a little nervous because this is the first time I've ever done this online. Like I've flown before in real life, but never on the simulator. But uh, it seems like it's pretty good. Just say a readability check. And then that way they know you're there. And uh, so that's kind of, yeah, that's it. So unfortunately we couldn't fly today because the uh, winds are broken, or the ceiling is broken at 400. So you need at least a thousand to do a circuit properly. Um, at, you, you need a thousand, you gotta be flying at a thousand feet altitude on your altimeter to do circuit. So you need, a, to be in VFR like safely, you wanna be like, you want to have at least if you do the if you go to VFR minimums, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but I think you need at least a thousand five hundred um, or more to do circuits properly. So unfortunately, you can't we can't really do circuits. And then uh, if we look on our um, METAR here, we have BR. So let's look up what BR means before we uh, finish the the video here. So. In uh, flying, or wait, in F Canada. There's a power Charlie, not a thing in the platform that is the null So BR is missed. So BR, the uh, BR app means missed. So that's exciting. You can hear them talk. Perfect. I'm really excited because this is this is gonna be really fun to fly. I can't wait to get started. I'm just gonna do. I'm just gonna find an airport with a tower and just start doing some circuits to get used to it. I'll probably do it in a uh, Cessna. We could even try some other airports and see if. Um, uh, we'll probably do that another night. I just I don't want to do I, this. This doing the flight center is so addictive. I got some other commitments I got to focus on, but it's it's so fun. I'm having so much fun with this that it's really time uh, intensive. My last time using the simulator I did a my first IFR flight. Yes on the frequency uh, Charlie Golf Quebec Del Delta Echo. Um, was going to do circuits but the uh, winds are broken at 400 so I'll be uh, not uh, flying at this time on BFR. Roger. So there you go. So we're going to log off tonight. Very exciting. This is awesome. I can't wait to, uh, and I, I hope this, this video helps people because I'm not, this is my first time logging on using that. So you can see the challenges that I'm going through and how I'm overcoming them. Um, because when you watch some videos online, it, it, I find a lot of people who are like at an expert level of things, it's kind of hard to learn from because they're going, they're going, they're doing things really fast, right? So um, this this video might be uh, helpful for anyone starting off. And on the next videos, I want to be doing circuits live with the uh, live with an active tower. So uh, pretty cool. Okay, I'm logging off now. Uh, thanks for. Uh, I'll see you on the um, on the next video. So this video is basically first time using the uh, AVIAO uh, AVAO sorry pardon me or sorry pardon me IVAO and what it is it's a organization of um, it's international virtual aviation organization basically what it is if you have a flight simulator you can log on and do real simulated radio calls 
on your flight simulator, which is really cool. So you get the, and you get the practice real life radio calls. Right now they can't hear it because I haven't clicked. So right now they can't hear me because I haven't clicked on the, um, I haven't clicked on the uh, button that allows you to speak, okay? And what it is, I put it on TeamSpeak 2. I went to the settings and oh, there's a plane there. That's awesome, that's so exciting. I I've never seen that before either. So there you go, there's the airplane. Let's see if we can go friggin' uh, Let's do free camera. Let's see if we can go find them. All right. No, wait. I want to go follow, follow that plane. I'll just leave it for now. I'm just excited. I've never seen that before either. So you can actually see the planes you're flying with. That's so cool. Okay, that's it for that's it for uh, tonight. So uh, that's pretty exciting. Uh, chase circle, still spot, linear spot, free camera, beacon tower. There he is. So I'm viewing things from the beacon tower. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> I'm logging off. So thanks for watching uh, this video, and I'll see you on the my next video. Bye for now.